Hinch, uh, one all draw at Margate away. Uh, is that a true reflection of the game? Um, possibly not. I don't. I think we limited them to very little. You know, we had big spells of possession. Um, maybe a little bit rushed at times when we got into the final third. I felt today. Um, our decision making's got to be better now. Maybe we put the game to bed a little bit uh, sooner than we did. But you know, part of our learning's got to be to come like this and you know, get our goal, um, then manage the game out and, and see a, a one nil um, score like that. Really, we we'll learn that. But there was so much to be pleased with today. I thought oh, some of our play was excellent. There's some really good performances, and we're against the an experienced side um, and I think you know we give, give a great account of ourselves today. A fairly even first half I'd say from where I was standing, come out the second half flying, what, what did you tell the boys at half time? Um, just that you know it wasn't going to be handy to us, we were all going to earn it and um, they, they're getting through a lot of, of work their players, uh, they, they were sprinting 20, 20 yards at times to put us under pressure um, and that has its toll. Um, so just if we could start the game on the front foot and go and take the game to them, um, you know, they might just fall away a tyre. But to be fair to them, they kept going. Um, but I think for the amount of times that they got into our box, you know, we've got to be keeping another clean sheet. Um, you know, that's a, a bit disappointed and it's like we've lost the game really, but we come to a tough place like Margate and, and picked up a point. We've got such a young team. Is it, is it just a matter of managing that? the game a little bit better protecting that lead and will that come with experience with this young team? Possibly, I think it was just a long ball, maybe Jesse got underneath it um, and then a couple of bad decisions in and around our box um, you know, ultimately um, it's not just the young players that are you know, making the wrong decisions um, so yeah, I don't think that's the case I really sense there is some improvement, um, you know, although we are young, there's definitely improvement in them and that's that's all we can ask, that they do keep on improving from game to game um, and that's definitely happening, um, yeah, just just a case of being a bit more uh, ruthless to keep it out of, our, out of our box really. Like you say, the performance was much better than uh, recent recent games, you know, what, what does this do for our confidence going into a big week of football coming up? Yeah, I just, just said to the boys in there, you know, they, they've got to be confident, they've got to be a good side. They are a good side. Um, you know, I'm really proud of the way they sort of played and performed today. Um, you know, sometimes you don't get uh, what you deserve out of a game. You know, we've travelled all the way down here um, and gave a great account of ourselves and, and played some really good football. Um, but the next step that we've got to start making is, is to see games like that out and, and come away with three points. I think there's some brilliant individual performances today as well. David Adjaboy looked dangerous every time he got the ball. Jesse worked his socks off. Anyone else that you could pinpoint out there today? No, I thought both the, both the wingbacks really typified the performance. They set the tone in the way they pressed. Jesse and Alex, you know, is on the front foot. And, uh, you know, it's a bit, like I say, I'm really pleased. I thought Ricky was excellent some of his passes first half. Uh, there's one he released David with his left foot. Um, him and Danny Barker. You know, they're what, 19 and 17 years old in the centre of the field today. Um, like I say, David, 19, brilliant again, um, and a real threat. Um, but there's, there's still more to come for one or two as well. Um, but as a team, I think we've come here and really worked hard. And, and if we carry on with that endeavour um, and that level of performance, I'm sure that the results will stop going away. On the negative point, it looked like James Crane pulled up early doors. Uh, any info on that? Yeah, he got a bit of a knock. Um, took a blow to his head last week, but didn't report anything to anyone. And he just come out and fill in a bit. So it might be a bit of concussion that we've got to monitor, really. He might have to rest for a couple of weeks now, because uh, you know, the concussion we've got to be really careful with. Um, if we have to know that it was concussion, obviously he wouldn't play today. But, um, yeah, he wasn't feeling great. Um, there's a bit of a... Bug going around, no Clarky today because he's at home with a bug. Um, so, you know, we've just got to patch each other up now. It's important now we go and put the same level of performance, same intensity to our play on Tuesday night. Um, and that's all we can do. And, you know, I honestly believe if, you know, if we carry on in that vein, um, we'll carry on uh, picking up points. Twin on a positive, it was really good to see Aaron Racine get some minutes today. You must be pleased with that. Yeah, he's he's a, he's a big sort of presence back there for us. Um, he leads the line well. 
um, can deal with long balls better when he's in the side. Um, just a reassuring figure, I think, for the younger players to have him around. So it's great to see him get some minutes back back on the pitch. Um, Lucas is doing a warm-up before the game as well. Well, I thought Clayton was excellent today. Um, come out with some big punches first half. Um, you know, and even though there's a penalty there, you fancy him to save it with his ratio. Um, it wasn't to be today, but we'll dust ourselves down and uh, we'll have full belief that... Um, you know, that level of performance can, can gain us points moving forward. Brilliant. Cheers, mate.